The Rock has been in the media lately, but for all the wrong reasons. From Vin Diesel to entire movie crews, here's our list of the top 10 Hollywood actors who refuse to work with The Rock. Starting off, we have Vin Diesel. While filming Fast and Furious 8, Dwayne Johnson shared a since deleted Instagram post to criticize some of his male co stars in 2016. Some conduct themselves as stand up men and true professionals, while others don't, he wrote. Later, it was reported that this criticism was aimed at Vin Diesel, something Dwayne all but confirmed when he thanked pretty much everyone from the Fast and Furious franchise on Instagram, except for Vin Diesel. While The Rock later told Entertainment Tonight that the feud was the result of different philosophies, Vin, who typically seemed eager to shut down any talk of their feud, shed light on their relationship. Dwayne has only got one Vin in his life, he told USA Today, before explaining how he paved the way for Johnson as the first multicultural megastar in Hollywood. Dwayne Johnson only has one big brother in the film world and that's me, I'm always rooting Dwayne on. Hey, he can support him from afar without wanting to work or be near him, which I think is the case here. Up next is John Cena. Dwayne The Rock Johnson was the face of WWE in the 90s until his Hollywood career took off, and John Cena had his own WWE takeover as The Rock switched to movies. Now this then led to a feud between the two. Although they are best friends today, The Rock told Jimmy Kimmel that before John became one of his best friends, the former WWE rivals had real problems with each other. In 2011, John was mouthing off to fans about how The Rock hadn't been in the ring in 8 years, and questioned whether or not The Rock even cared about the business. John then got even more angry when The Rock didn't attend the 15th anniversary show or make an appearance at WrestleMania because he was filming. Now, The Rock says in an old clip that John was popping off at the mouth. Now, John said all of that, of course, before he himself began focusing on acting. He was asked about this retrospective hypocrisy in an interview with Gorilla Position a decade later, and he apologized, saying he was wrong. I called him out as someone who had tunnel vision in the WWE and didn't understand the process that when you make a movie, you're not allowed to do anything else. But hey, at least they were able to make up. Then there's Randy Orton. Wrestler Randy Orton made it known that he didn't like The Rock when he was asked about an upcoming WrestleMania match between Dwayne Johnson and John Cena during a 2011 ESPN interview. After initially using the question to slam Johnson for stepping away from wrestling and focusing on acting, Randy criticized The Rock's abilities. I think Cena is wittier and can go off the cuff. Cena writes his own stuff while The Rock has stuff written for him. It all just comes down to who you are in the ring and what kind of performer you are in the ring, and I think Cena is. 10 times the performer in the ring than The Rock is. Ouch. Now, later on, recalling this interview, Randy revealed that he actually got in trouble for putting all that out there. Moving on to Kevin Nash. For those of you who don't know, there's a long standing legend in wrestling that Kevin Nash wasn't thrilled with The Rock after he went off script during a promo. According to rumors, The Rock improvised the famous line, Big Daddy Bleep, which caught Kevin off guard. More importantly, Kevin allegedly felt that the insult made his character look weak. He went on to claim that Johnson tried to manage their matches too much, reportedly asking him, what one thing do you want to do here? Kevin though has more recently said that he respects Johnson, telling Daily DDT in 2019 that he credits The Rock for being the wrestler turned actor who opened the door for all of us to Hollywood. However, it seems clear that there was some bad blood between the two. Now we have Tyrese Gibson. When The Rock and Vin Diesel were fighting, Tyrese Gibson made it clear that he wasn't involved in any drama. In a now deleted post on Instagram, he explained how he felt about The Rock. He's my brother, we have never had a problem and will never have a problem. Now that didn't last for too long though, as Fast and Furious 9 was pushed back a year and shortly after it was revealed that The Rock had scored his solo spin-off, Hobbs and Shaw. Tyrese wasn't having any of this though, and he slammed him on Instagram for making the Fast and Furious franchise about you, and questioned whether it would be another hashtag Baywatch, which was a rebooted movie that The Rock starred in that flopped at the box office. While Hobbs and Shaw would take the top spot at the box office though, Tyrese posted another public shot at Johnson for the movie's less than stellar opening weekend numbers compared to other Fast and Furious movies. But when the film started to pick up steam globally, Johnson made sure to let certain people know by tweeting, remember the best way to shut the mouth of a clown is to flex with success and a smile.
denial. Tyrese later admitted regret over how he aired out his grievances, but he has yet to publicly apologize. Let's talk about Shawn Michaels. Now it's not exactly clear what happened between Shawn Michaels and Dwayne Johnson, but there are a couple of different accounts that suggest these wrestling legends never really liked each other behind the scenes, which might explain why they never faced each other in the ring. Dave Meltzer of the Wrestling Observer Newsletter suggested that the feud started when Shawn reportedly disrespected The Rock's promoter grandmother in the 80s. It's said that as The Rock was rising in the WWE ranks, Shawn did all he could to bring him down. But now that plan might have backfired. Now, when The Rock became the WWE's biggest star and got to wrestle whomever he wanted, Shawn was never considered. I was never ever interested in working with him, to be honest with you, Johnson told WWE.com. On to TJ Perkins. Professional wrestler TJ Perkins took a shot at The Rock on Twitter and, well, it didn't end well. When TJ was asked if there was a motto or quote he lived by every day, he gave an uncensored version of the Nike slogan, just effing do it. Now another follower then suggested a quote from The Rock himself, always be the hardest worker in the room. Now it's here that TJ appeared to give Johnson a jab, tweeting alongside a wink emoji, that goes without question, but real ones don't say it out loud. Yeah, now The Rock didn't really appreciate that and made sure that TJ knew it. He tweeted in response by saying, Yeah, that Rock fella has a big mouth. I've never heard of you, CJ, but I wish you the best of luck in the wrestling biz champ. Then there's the Red Room cast and crew. This week, the entertainment news outlet The Rap reported that The Rock was up to eight hours late to set while filming the upcoming Christmas themed action movie Red One, meaning that the crew had to shoot around him on some occasions. Now, the outlet also reported that the Red One budget has grew way past $250 million as a result of several production issues, including The Rock's lateness. It also reported that he tried to save time on other sets by peeing in Voss water bottles, which upset some crew members. And yeah, no kidding. An anonymous source that the rap said knows the actor well said on set away from his trailer, if he needs to pee, he doesn't go to the public bathroom. He pees in a Voss water bottle and his team or a PA has to dispose of it. Yeah, that sounds like an absolute nightmare. Next up is Ahmed Johnson. To say that Tony Norris aka Ahmed Johnson can't stain Dwayne Johnson would not be entirely accurate, but the former wrestler certainly hasn't been shy about sharing gossip about his colleague. In an interview with the Work and Punch Productions in 2016, Ahmed shed more light on his locker room scuffle with The Rock. I didn't like the fact that he was getting a little too cocky for me and we had a match coming up, matter of fact that same night. We was going to do the match and I was willing to do his high spots, but he wasn't willing to do all mine. We got into a little confrontation back there. And finally we have Rebecca Ferguson. Now this is just speculation, so don't take it to heart, but in 2024 Rebecca Ferguson claimed that an unnamed co-star screamed at her. On the Rain podcast, Rebecca explained, I did a film with an absolute idiot of a co-star, and this human being was so insecure and angry because this person couldn't get the scenes out. I would cry walking off set, this person would look at me in front of the whole crew and say, you call yourself an actor, this is what I have to work with, what is this? Yikes. <laughs> Now, the internet has done some sleuthing to try to figure out who she was talking about, and one of the most popular theories was that she was talking about The Rock. Now, Rebecca worked with him on the 2014 film Hercules. However, he was also the first person to publicly support her after the comments were made, stating on Twitter, hate seeing this, but love seeing her stand up to BS. Rebecca was my guardian angel sent from heaven on our set. I love that woman. I'd like to find out who did this. But him making this statement actually made fans more suspicious of him, thinking he was covering up something. So was it The Rock? I guess we'll never know, but some people are convinced that it was him. Well, that's all for our list of the top 10 Hollywood actors who refuse to work with The Rock. I wonder if anyone else will come out and speak against him. I guess only time will tell.